Hey everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and in this video I'm going to show you what I'm selling on eBay this week. Now if you want to bid on any of the items that you see in this video, please do. Happy bidding. I'll put the link down below in the description box and also in the pinned comment section to my eBay page. So go on there, go to items for sale and bid, 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 bid. Happy bidding. Okay, so as ever I have a mixture of random things. Now this is just a kind of sneak peek of what I'm selling so if you want to kind of you know more detailed information you know uh, clear photographs etc look on the listings you know for example with clothes and stuff like in this video I'm just gonna like hold them up and stuff um, so you get a sneak peek look but you know in the photographs you'll see everything like clothes wise on hangers and stuff so yeah <laughs> now, if you enjoy watching the video which i really hope you do please click like comment share and subscribe to my channel that would be awesome so uh yeah are you ready to get started there's a lot of stuff here as i say i'm just gonna kind of be quick because there is literally loads of things so sit back relax enjoy the video this is what i'm selling on ebay this week all right, so I've got lots of bags around me here. I'm just gonna randomly start with this bag here. Um, some of the things you might have seen before because they would have been on the last video I did of what I'm selling. So basically what I do, I put off everything on uh, for bids, like auctions, and if things don't sell, I'll keep just kind of relisting for a few weeks. After that, I think, yes, yeah, not gonna sell, and I'll either make a bundle up or I'll just kind of give them away to charity, etc. So. You might see a few things that you've already seen because, as I say, they've been relisted and haven't sold the first time. All right, so let's have a look here. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is this top here. Now, this actually belonged to me. Um, I'm going to be doing a big old sort out over the weekend of my clothes, like in the drawers behind and um, the wardrobes, etc. Just doing a clear out, basically. Um, and anything that I find that either doesn't fit me anymore or I just don't like or just, you know, whatever, I'm just going to sell. So this was just one that I went to wear the other day. I put it on. I was just like, I just don't like it on me anymore um originally this is from matalan it's a size 20 it's one of these kind of loose floaty tops and I, I just i don't know just didn't suit me i think it makes me look a bit washed out you know i'm already pound pasty uh, <laughs> but um anyway so that's on there um next up is this dress here this is so pretty i wish this was in a bigger size because i'd have probably had that for myself um it's a size 14 it's from anmol and it's this beautiful look at this design and coloring it's a top well kind of like a long top stroke dress so dependent on your height um but look at the coloring and the, the style of this it's so cute it's uh, buttoned up at the front and it also has an elasticated waist uh, oh my god this this is so cool you're gonna love this like another thing that i wish was bigger because i'd have kept it if only i didn't like cheese and cake and bad stuff <laughs> so this is really unusual it's from disney but i think originally it was from hot topic and it is a beauty and the beast themed dress look at this plain black at the top but the main thing is happening the bottom half of it look at this all like a kind of stained glass window effect if you know what i'm saying and this is the back um with the castle and stuff it is really something else so if you're a fan of disney and beauty and the beast like it's just amazing absolutely sensational that i love that next up is this top here this is i don't know <laughs> there we go this is a size 20 from primark um very kind of floral print and kind of like hippie boho maybe with that floral print sheer material so that is on there um next up oh yeah i've got some football stuff football stuff's been uh selling quite cool for me lately so whenever i see like football shirts or football merchandise i think eh, you know good condition or new i'll try and sell it uh so this is for age 16 um and it's is it messy is that how you say his name there we go it's a football shirt uh for messy which is what has he got he's got the number 10 shirt there and you know what i cannot remember who he played for again i'm so sorry nathan Barcelona. thank you <laughs> well yeah this top is when he was in um barcelona when he was in it makes it sound like he was in a boy band when he was in that boy band anyway um and so yeah this is the full kit so you get the shorts and the t-shirt and they are for as i say age 16 so i think they've already got a bit on them instantly like the night i put it on um next up is this more football stuff england shirt this is a size small 
Um, obviously, you know, the Euros are over and stuff, by the way. England done very well. Proud of them. Uh, but we've got the World Cup next year. So get your football clothing in in advance because there was a rush on for football shirts. You couldn't get one for love nor money. Um, so, yeah, originally this is from uh, Pep and Co. But, yeah, it's quite a cool one, actually. I like this. All right, next up, this is a uh, kid's jacket. This is so super cute if you're into your Hello Kitty. I love Hello Kitty. Um, could you imagine me wearing this? <laughs> it's trying to fit onto me. It doesn't fit. It is a kid's. But yeah, this is Hello Kitty little coat. It's like a little waterproof coat jacket thing. I'm looking for the size, but I cannot find it. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, nine to ten years, this. And it's got a little hood on it as well. So cute. Love that. And um, we've got another coat here. I'm not sure what age this is. What age was this? This is from sainsbury's 2 kids clothing and it is um oh this is a bit smaller five to six years and i don't know if you can see first of all this galaxy color in it is just divine like so cute like pastel kind of colors and it's got like dolphins and stuff on it it's really unusual it's really pretty and it's got the um the hood as well and it's that kind of waterproof uh, material all right more football stuff as i said so this is another kit this is for age 12 so you get the little shorts and you also get the uh, number seven t-shirt of ronaldo there we go rumors apparently they might go to man city if into football i don't know and oh no i've completely forgot again what team is ronaldo I don't know. Um... the purple one do you remember <laughs> Real Madrid, that was it. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, Real Madrid. This is like retro stuff. So, yeah, that's an actual kit there. Top and the uh, shorts. Then we've got a, a denim jacket. And this is from Primark. And it is a size 16. Um, it's like, kind of like stonewash. Kind of, well, I call this stonewash. Would you call that stonewash? Um, yeah. I like it. I've already got a denim jacket. And I, I do love a good denim jacket. Mine's, I might think. I don't know, mine's either from Prime or Canoe Look. But anyway, that's of no interest. So, uh, that's, <laughs> it's random. Right, we've got another football shirt. This is a size um, 18, 20. But I will be honest with you, because I'm always honest. Um, this is a little bit of a small size 18, 20. Unless you don't mind your tops being a little bit tight. Uh, I'd say it's more 16, 18. But there we go. So you've got England at the back. And then you've got this at the front. So, yeah, that's on there. And then we've got this top here so this, i actually thought originally that this was a kid's top but it's not it's uh it's a, just a really like small a, a lady's small um and it's the mandalorian is that how you say it? mandalorian mandalorian but how cute is baby yoda like come on whenever i see baby yoda i always think of my dear friend asmr planet because she does lots of like smr videos with uh baby yoda <laughs> it's really cute right this one is also a small and um it is from uh primark and it is a harry potter harry potter uh t-shirt as you can see it's green which is of course the color of uh slytherin so it is a slytherin top um so that's that and then the last thing in this bag i'm really trying to get through everything as quick as i can are these um boxing shorts i think they were yeah size medium they are lonsdale london boxing shorts boxing yeah boxing shorts as in yeah um how cool are they i just want to say like i don't know why but i actually find them really cool and they're lonsdale as well which is like an amazing make so um yeah they've already got a bid on so that's good right okay i think oh no there's one more thing in this bag hold on hold up we have this t-shirt here which is for matalan size 18 um one of the kind of slogan t-shirts love this it says girl we got this girl we got this we got this okay I'll tidy everything up in, in the end of the video <laughs> once I'm finished filming. I'll just be like, right, tidy up then. Um, all right. Um, okay, next up, this bag here. I've got some books here. I'm selling this one here, which is a signed copy of I Am Dust. And it's by an author called Louise Beach. I'm just going to show you the signature. She has signed it with a little heart on it. This is a creepy book. A haunted theatre, murdered actress, three cursed teenagers, a secret that devastates them all. So that is that. That is on there. Uh, also is this one here, which I read myself recently and absolutely loved. It was cool. It's called Summer of Spirit by Elizabeth Holville. And it is a graphic novel. And look at the artwork in here. Not only is the artwork cool, but like the colouring of it. It's like, 
I don't know, kind of like pastel kind of colouring. It's really unusual. I love it. Really, look, there's a little troll there. Can you see a little troll? So cute. So, yeah, graphic novels are great. So, that one's a good one. Now, I'm not going to get everything out in here, but in this bag, I'll show you the bag. It looks, this is like an extra, extra sneak peek. Um, I can have a little mystery. Oh, what's in there? Uh, this is a bag of uh, size 18, yeah, size 18 clothing. There's tops and dresses in there. It's a clothing bundle. Uh, you got stuff from Primark and uh, I think New Look, etc. But anyway, there's a clothing bundle. I think there's like five items in the bundle. All size 18. Uh, there is another bundle that I'm putting on. I haven't put it on yet, but I will be putting it on. So look out for that, um, which is going to be in this bag. So that is going to go on. Um, okay, next up, this bag here, we have another graphic novel. And this is Anya's Ghost. And it is by Vera Broskol. This was super cute as well. I really love my graphic novels lately. Um, this is about this girl. And yeah, she's not very popular. And uh, she kind of meets a ghost. And yeah, it's a ghost from a well. <laughs> Halloween's coming up. This kind of thing could be perfect. So yeah, really cool artwork as well in there. Um, still trying to get rid of this. Come on, someone must want this. It's a, a case for your Switch. Uh, so if you want to put your Switch in there. I think I end up playing Nathan's Switch more than him. I know I'm naughty. Um, all right, we've got this size 18 dress. You've got some things here that you might recognise because um, they haven't sold, so they've been relisted. This is from Primark. Um, I love the colouring of this. It's so nice. Hippie boho chic as I would call it. So you've got like the browns, the orange, the blue, the grey. Like I just think it's really nice. And it's got like a cutaway bit at the side as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, then we've got this one. This didn't sell last week, so it's back on. This is like, officially it's bridal wear when I looked it up. Um, it's from a designer called something Diamond. What was her name? Who are you? Oh, Vivian. Vivian Diamond. The Desi Collection. It's polyester. And it was listed on other people's as kind of like uh, bridesmaid clothing and stuff. But yeah, it's it's really pretty. Uh, next up, this is a play suit. I always do really well with play suits. People love the play suits. Uh, this is a size 20 from Primark. There we go. Lovely colouring. Look at that green. I wish I suited a play suit, but they just, they just look silly on me. I don't know. Um... But there we go. <laughs> Alright, next up, any Builder Bear fans out there? I have this really super uber cute little um set here for Builder Bears. Uh so you've got hold on, I'm trying to straighten them up. There we go. So you've got two little pairs, two shoes. I was gonna say two shoes, obviously, because they're shoes, you're not gonna have one. You got some shoes, these are like open toe shoes with a little bow on them. And look, check out the little heel, it's like so cute. And to go with it, in the little bundle, we have this sequined little handbag. So if you want to glam up your teddy bears, do it. Do it. <laughs> um, okay, next up we have this uh, crop trousers. These are from Primark, size 20, black and white. Very funky, funky, funky. Um, so they're on there, as are these men's trousers, which literally, just before I started filming this video, I got a bid on, so that's cool. These are from Under Armour, and they are, I can't remember the size, hold on. But yeah, Under Armour is basically, um, clothing for, like, outdoor clothing, for, like, sporting and stuff. Like, a lot of men have them for, like, golf or whatever. Um, okay, 46 waist, 34 on the leg. So, that's that. For some reason, I've got Elton John's song stuck in my head. Are you ready? Are you ready for love? I don't know why, but I have. Anyway, uh, next up, that was random. A size 18 top. This is brand spanking new with the tags on, and it is from Primark, and it is blue, and it's got a floral print. A little bit creased up, I'm afraid, where I obviously store everything in the bags, but it is brand new. Next up, I'm really shocked this didn't sell, because I really like this, but... Anyway, it didn't sell yet, but it's brand new with the tags from Coco, and uh, it's a size 20. It's called Don't Stop Slogan Sweater. That is the official title. Um, so, yeah, it's just plain black, and at the front, it's got like that kind of cool leopard print with the blue and the red. I love that. I wish it fit. I did try it on. I mean, it does fit, but it's still a little bit tight. I like sweatshirts to be proper, like loose and baggy. Do you know what I mean? Like oversized kind of thing to a degree. But that one's just like. Mm. 
Uh, this is from Primark, size 20, and it's got birdies on it, little parrots. I think that's a parrot. It is a parrot, right? Tell me. This is like a little um, kind of sleeveless uh, shirt, and you can just tie it up at the bottom. Really shocked that didn't sell, because normally uh, clothing with animals like related, like dogs or birds or whatever, that normally sells well. So I was quite surprised that didn't sell. But anyway, um, hopefully it will sell this week. We've got another book here. This has been on for weeks, and I don't know why anyone's not buying it, because it was a really good book. And I'll keep telling people how good it is, and you still don't want it. Come on, it's Halloween soon-ish kind of um you need a spooky scary read <laughs> so this is it's behind you by the lovely Catherine foxfield um check it out it's really good and i've got another bag here with lots of books in i'm gonna try and drag all oh my days it's over oh it's heavy right so we've got a graphic novel that i absolutely freaking loved this is by rainbow round it's called pumpkin heads um i oh <laughs> I was gonna say uh, I did kind of promise myself that I'll leave it on one week if it didn't sell then I would just keep it but it has got some bids on it so I am obviously gonna be selling it I need the cash so there we go um but yeah this is um just adorable absolutely adorable then I have these books here now I will tell you the truth about these uh three books here basically i have bought these books ages ago brand new well not ages ago like a month or so ago brand new um but now my local library has opened up again properly so i can go in there i can browse etc and i saw the same books in the library and i was like hmm what about i sell the books because then they're like brand new do you know what i mean and i'll just pick up the same ones from the library read them for free take them back uh, so then when i'm selling these on ebay they are listed as new and not just like used so hopefully they'll sell better etc get more money for them uh, so the first one as i say these have not been read as you can see they are in perfectly new condition uh poison this poison heart uh, by kaylin bayron she wrote cinderella is dead which i loved so I'm still going to be reading these. Um, in fact, this is my current read, but the library book version of it. Uh, this is the Passing Playbook by Isaac Fitzsimmons. One of my favourite YouTubers who I love to watch, Books and Bargains, uh, literally said this was amazing. So I've got high hopes for it. So far, so good. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. And the other one is All Our Hidden Gifts. And this is like witchy tarot cards kind of thing. Really excited to read this one which I've also got from the library. Um, okay, now this one here I read recently. It was a bit weird. If you like quirky, weird, thriller, crime, murder books, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like proper like trending everywhere. Waterstones have got like a whole like display of it and everything, like they've made a big deal of it on the table and stuff display. Um, it's by Victor Justin. it's called Heatwave. This is a signed copy from the author. And not only do you get the book, which I've kept in tip top condition, um you get a free bookmark with a creepy bunny hey and if you look there it's like where's wally there is the creepy bunny on the cover which i didn't discover until like i was reading it. i was like where's that bunny i've just seen it anyway so yeah that's that's on there and it is signed so i've got some more books now we have uh the confession by jesse burton these are a few that I picked up recently in charity shops. So I thought, oh, that, that's cool, you know, bargain. But then I thought, I'll give them a little kind of go. And I just kind of read a little bit of them and I was just not feeling it for myself. They're really popular. People seem to love them. But, you know, look, we've all got our own, like, taste and stuff, what we like and dislike when it comes to books and things. And I, I just wasn't feeling it. It's in really good condition. So I was like, I'm just going to pop these ones on eBay instead. So, yeah, Jessie Burton one. She wrote um, The Miniaturist, which I loved. But that one is just not my thing. Uh, same with this one here in American Marriage. Um, I'd heard so many rave reviews about it. I saw it in the charity shop. I was like, yeah, let's do it. But yeah, it just it just wasn't my thing. And also the thing with this one that bothered me is the font. Look, at, it's just really small. Um, I have to wear glasses when I read. And I haven't got, you know, the best of eyes kind of thing. So like when I'm reading it, if the font is this small, it's str I struggle. I started to read a bit of it and I was like, mm, it seems okay, but it's, yeah, it's not for me and the font is really small. The next one here, I'm really sad about because I'd wanted to read this for ages, but I have actually got myself mixed up with this one. So I thought this was a fiction, but it is in fact, uh, well, a fact, it's a factual book, um, but it kind of looked like it was fiction, you know. It's by Kate Summerscale and it's called The Haunting of Alma Fielding. And because it said a true ghost story and like the colouring of the book, I, I just thought it was fiction, but it is actually um, non-fiction. So, yeah, 
yeah i think it's still got a paranormal vibe to it but it, it's non-fiction and i only read fiction so another one is this thriller here big hardback book and it's by nikki french and it's called the lime room this did sound cool but like i don't know i've just got so many thrillers i just i just like oh uh, you know yeah so hopefully someone else will want that and enjoy their read now this book here i literally just finished reading a few days ago on the weekend absolutely blooming loved it i really recommend this to anyone it's so good i gave it four out of five on uh goodreads and yeah it's called the lady rogue by jen bennett so really quickly keywords i would say to describe this book would be uh female indiana jones who's quite sassy and vampires oh and vlad the Imp impaler <laughs> a bit random but trust me it's really good i loved it okay right so oh i've got one more book here to show you the girl with the loud in voice by abby dare um this is another one i picked up <laughs> you know it's so hard like because you go in charity shops and you think oh what a good bargain um and i suppose i don't really read the backs as much as i should to see if it's my cup of tea and I, as i say i give it a little go and i was like oh, i just don't think i'm gonna read this so it's gonna sit around for ages some else will sell it it's in amazing condition as well so yeah all right any barbie fans out there look what i managed to pick up i'll move my big head out of the way there we go this is really i'm doing asmr there oh by the way talking about asmr i have an asmr channel here on youtube minx laura 123 asmr and that's my other channel please go and check it out and uh, i'll put the link down below uh, basically videos to help you sleep chill out relax um look, i keep tapping is that a habit i can't help it but yeah all videos like to relax you <laughs> and give you tingles anyway this is a really old retro um barbie china tea party set there was a mouthful wasn't it and also at the back it says you get these little <laughs> cut out uh picnic was it picnic placemats on the back so yeah it's like little uh tea set there all barbie this is really retro i've got to keep this in good condition and whoever wins it if they win it and it sells i will bubble wrap the hell out of that and uh hope it doesn't you know break but yeah i'll probably like get a box for it nathan will help me hopefully just like wrap like you know shit loads of bubble wrap around it okay next up this is new the tag just fell off but it is from that originally right this was 18 pound 99 man Jeez. Uh, and it's a little baby's kilt you know like a little scottish kilt it's so cute this is from a company called scotland's national um and yeah it says naught to six months scotland's national kilt how, how cute is that a little baby in a little kilt adorable i think my favorite scottish person is um an asmr lady called scottish blueberry asmr I, I love her so much she's such a sweet lady linda her name is and her videos are great she's really natural she's warm comfy cozy to watch like i just think she's wonderful and she's very funny as well um okay this is big it's a big book but um it's the 1920 scrapbook it is so beautiful um i am gonna look through it before it sells oh sorry let me drop my chair that i've got my phone on um it's basically lots of like art trying to knock myself in the face there you go um yeah lots of artwork and stuff from the well 1920s funnily enough and it's really beautiful so yeah okay any star wars fans out there did you answer yes okay um this is a plastic table cover star wars i can't remember the name of the guy with the red face oh no nathan darth maul <laughs> okay. darth maul okay there he is Darth, Darth Maul okay um I have seen all the Star Wars films but a long long time ago so I can't remember he was scary though I remember him it's name like the Phantom Menace or something yeah. oh. um but yeah that's a, a brand new all packaged and sealed tablecloth so if you're having a party you know and you like your Star Wars right next up we have these two little book bags here they are so cute like if they don't sell I'll probably well, I wouldn't use that one. That is a little bit too young for me. But this one I could kind of get away with, maybe. Uh, but I'm doing them as a little bundle. Uh, they're the little Maisie Mouse uh, bags. So this one is like kind of vinyl, plasticky. And this is a kind of cotton material one. So I'm doing them as a pair. 
Right, okay, now, um, next up, Harry Potter. We have this brand new, uh, this is a cosmetic headband, uh, Hedwig, 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 Hedwig. <laughs> <laughs> the owl basically from harry potter as you can see all sealed all brand new i think originally this is from primark i used to see them kind of harry potter stuff in there all the time um okay also selling this little lip balm here this is from maybelline baby lips in pina colada flavor scent or whatever you want to say and it is limited edition so yeah um got some Bayliss and Hardin stuff here. There is another thing that goes with it. Hold on. I think it's that. Yeah, so I'm selling these as like a little set because they're both Bayliss and Hardin. Now you can keep this for yourself or you could maybe keep it for Christmas for a gift. Um or birthday. Whatever you want to do. I don't know. So you've got this little set here, which is like the shape of a little bath, which I think is actually super, super cute. And this little box here. Um, so you've got like uh, body lotion, I think it's hand stuff, body butter or something, I don't know. So um, yeah, there is a two, like a bundle of Bayliss and Hardin. Um, all right, next up we've got some stamps. Now you might think this is really random, but people love to collect stamps. And I'll be honest, I'm a bit of a nerd and I do. I haven't done it for ages. I need to go through all my books and see what like, stamps I've got and stuff. I am a geek, right? But yeah, honestly, people really do collect stamps and sometimes like rare collectible stamps sell really well. But unfortunately, the ones I've ever sold, not barely sell for anything. I'm lucky if I get a quid, do you know what I mean? But I always try. <laughs> so these are from the Royal Mail Millennium set and they are called Spirit and Faith. So you're kind of getting the idea. Really like religious, holy looking um, stamps here. They are really nice though, but... Yeah, so they, they are new, obviously, all sealed. Um, and then I've got this set of uh, lip balms here. So this is a lovely tin, and inside they are brand new. Um, and they're different lip balms. And they're from Dirty Works, which is uh, from Sainsbury's. I think Dirty Works is also made by Soap and Glory, possibly, because like they smell exactly the same. Um, right, I've got some more books here. I'll quickly do these. So I read this recently, loved it. It is by the um, Anton de Beck man who dances and stuff uh, and writes books, apparently. So yeah, this is One Enchanted Evening, Glitz, Glamour, Scandal, Secrets, Let's Dance. It's actually really good. I don't think it was going to be good, but it's really, really good. I loved it. It's one of my books of the month, or nearly, nearly was my book of the month. Uh, then we got The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I, I was tempted to read this because... Um, one of my favourite booktubers, Pages for Page, like raves on about it. She loves it. And I was like, oh, but then I'm just like, oh, I don't know. Once again, that font is really tiny for my eyes. And I've got so many other series that I own that I haven't read yet. I was like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to sell it. Uh, and then we've got this book here, which is Hamnet. Um, this is by Maggie O'Farrell. This has been like a real kind of big trending book. So many people love this book and it's not my cup of tea. I read what it was about and I was like, yeah, it's not really my cup of tea. So uh, really good condition, hardback as well. And I think the last book possibly that I have is a graphic novel and it is uh, 2000 AD's greatest celebrating 40 years. So you've got like Judge Dredd, etc, etc. Um, I do like graphic novels, but this isn't like graphic novel wise, I don't, it's just not for me. Right, next up we have this bag here. Woo, right, I'm going to try and speed things up a little bit for you. <laughs> I am trying to go as quick as I can, I promise. Right, we've got this dress here, it's a size 16 from Jolie Moy. Jolie Moy or Moi? I don't know how you would say that, Moy or Moi? I don't know. I'm um, really loving the colour of this. By the way, talking about like clothes and dresses that I'm selling, um, it suits me actually, doesn't it, yellow and blue? Anyway, but uh, yeah, I've been doing videos uh, recently that, well, I've done one, <laughs> videos, video. I did a video recently where I tried some dresses on that I'm selling and it was kind of funny, like, you know, I try it on in the video, will I like it and keep it or will I carry on like selling it on eBay? And that video did quite well. Like people seem to really like it. There was one comment, um, bless her. I don't think she meant it horrible, but she was like, this video makes me really sad because of the way you're putting yourself down and so much like self-hate and stuff. And I'm like, no, I was just being like blunt with myself. Like if I put a dress on it, it looks really tight. It's not about being like hating on my body and my self-image or whatever. It was just that I know I look awful in it. 
and you know I'll put another dress on and think oh that looks really nice on myself so please do not worry that I've got like any form of like big like hate on my body um yeah there's things that I want to improve about it and I wish I was a bit slimmer or whatever but like I'm not self-hating or anything and I can look in a mirror I can make funny you know kind of comments about my clothing without like this big like emotional drama of being self-hating uh, so in a nice way please don't worry about me I'm fine and I think I'll do another video like this where I try dresses on and, and just kind of see if I want to keep them or if I carry on selling them on eBay kind of thing it's just fun dressing up and seeing what they look like and it's also a way of promoting you know the stuff I'm selling on eBay so it's all good all right so yeah this dress as I say um I love the pattern and I will try this on uh, in a future video. All right, next up we have this here. This is a duvet cover. Uh, well, that's a pillowcase, but I've got the duvet cover here. This is for a kid's, uh, like it was a toddler uh, duvet cover set. And it's got dinosaurs on it. Lots of dinosaurs. This is super cute. I love this. So, yeah, it's for a toddler's bed. Um, next up we have another dress this is from I don't know somewhere <laughs> this, oh there it's from Debenham size 22 and I'll probably try this on in that try on clothing video I love the font at uh, the font I'm talking about the the pattern on this this is really nice this might even look nice on me you never know as I say if I try the dresses on and think actually I like it I'll keep it um right so next up we have another dress this is from indigo indigo collection i think it's primark isn't it indigo it's either indigo or matalan i can't remember but anyway primark or matalan but it's a it's quite a long dress this one uh orange orangey orangey red kind of stripey looking and yeah it's it's not like well to me it would be a maxi dress because i'm four foot eleven but uh yeah you heard it right four foot eleven i'm a short ass <laughs> all right next up this is a i don't know oh yeah these are culottes trousers uh size 20 from new look and i will be trying these on in the video as well because uh, when i was younger right come in i'll tell you a story now um when i was younger my mum always used to dress me in culottes like it was quite a fashionable thing in the 80s i think that's what she told me anyway um so yeah they're like the big kind of baggy trousers but i don't know i don't think they've done me any justice because i was so small and a little bit chubby and it just i think it made me look bigger when i look back at my child photos of me wearing like culottes but i don't know we'll try them on we'll have a laugh or i might like them who knows uh this dress is black and white and it is from marks and spencers um really nice like a bodycon dress i would be trying this on as well if it fits i don't know actually I say I'll be trying it on. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's got the zip at the back there. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna like risk breaking any of the dresses trying to get them on just for a try on video. If I think it ain't gonna get on, then there's no point. But we'll see. We'll see. Now this one here. Um, this is a dress from I think it was Sainsbury. Yeah, Sainsbury is size 22. I think I tried this on in the video. I like that. The try on video that i did um it was okay but it's, i don't know a bit i was gonna say it's a bit womanly for me but then again i am a woman i'm 42 now yeah but anyway right so next up we have a pair of white trousers these are a size 16 and they are from jewels living the good life apparently jewels so these are very smart trousers i like the like logo and stuff can you see the logo on the pocket i don't know if it's on there but yeah these are really smart white trousers and they're nice i don't know what to say they're, they're white trousers I don't know. um i never wear white trousers because i'm just too paranoid that you'd see my knickers like the line <laughs> anyway moving on um okay next up we have this here this is from um papaya which is matalan it's from matalan and it is a size 18 and I love it. It's really nice. I think. Uh, is it nice? Is it not? I'm not sure. So it is like got these really cool like kind of belts and chains design. So yeah. I don't know. Uh, next up is this dress here. 
and it comes with a belt as well an orange belt that's pretty cool isn't it and you see the design of the dress and like it really like goes with the dress and stuff like the style of it the coloring this is brand new by the way with tags and it's from a company called lindy bop if you've heard of those uh size wise it's a size uh 16 brand new obviously with the tags and yeah that's that it's really pretty that dress um this is from somewhere, I think it was ASOS. Yeah, this didn't sell, so it's relisted. Size 22 from Ace, ASOS. ASOS. Um, also, oh, now these trousers I'm going to try on in the video because Nathan hates them. <laughs> It'd be really funny to see what they look like. So these are from a company called Wrap. They're a size XL, so I, I'm going to try them on, but I reckon they're about an 18. They look very stretchy, elasticated waist. Um, oh, actually, I've got to reply. Some lady asked me if they had an elasticated waist in a message. I have to reply to her after this video. So there's a bit of interest in them. Maybe it's, you know, a cool look. Maybe people are like, yeah, it's a bit out there. I mean, they are very hippie boho chic. It's weird. They're kind of like patchwork trousers. It's, it's kind of like, well, I should hate them. I should, but I don't. <laughs> But I can see why Nathan doesn't like him as well. So, but I'm going to try them on in the video. So have a laugh, have a look. Uh, next up, are this uh, these pair of jeans. These are from Henley's, which is a really, you know, well, was a really good brand. But um, yeah, I, I'll be honest with you. I got these because I thought they were size 18. Well, they marked them up in the shop as a size 18, and I was like, size 18 jeans. Henley's are a good brand. Let's do it. When I got them home, I was thinking they're not a size 18. Like, what are you chatting about? But then when I realised um, they got a three on them, which is the American size three, and I think the American size three, what we could find on research, I love that little motif there, by the way, it's so cool. Um, it's like a size 10, 10 to 12. So I don't know why they mark them up as that. But anyway, they're on there. So if you're a size 10 to 12 and you're, you're fancying some new jeans, oh, I think that's it. Yeah um this bag as i say is the bundle that's a bundle so i've got a size 18 bundle on there and uh tonight i'm going to put on the size 16 bundle so yeah okay so that is the end of the video i hope you've enjoyed watching and uh enjoyed this kind of well it's kind of a haul isn't it a haul unhaul whatever you want to call it um if you have enjoyed please please give this video a big thumbs up it really does help the channel and you know what i just like looking at a video saying thumbs up who wants to see thumbs down? Um, and also, please leave a comment. Tell me, you know, is there anything you've seen that you like the look of? Or is there something you're like, oh, that's gross? Whatever, just, you know, leave me a comment. Share the video out on, you know, your social media, community tabs. Like, it really does help the channel and the video get kind of out there and attention. Um, what else? Oh, and subscribe. <laughs> please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I keep saying this all the time. Like, it's getting ridiculous honestly right i'm so close to 8k subs on this channel and i'm really excited about that if i get to 8k subs i'll get a cake right i'll get a cake i'll get a big eight balloon and we'll have a party like it'll be fun yeah so please subscribe i'm so close um but yeah even subscribe or get people to, to subscribe just so you don't have to hear me saying about i'm so close because once i'm at 8k i won't keep going on about it <laughs> until I get to near 9k and then I'll do the same thing again <laughs> uh, so yeah please subscribe to my channel really appreciate that uh, smash the notification bell as well then you can see when I've uh, put new videos on doing live shows etc <sighs> and that's it oh social media uh, come and follow me I'm still here uh, at minxlaw123 on twitter instagram minxlaw123 and the dreaded tiktok which everyone either loves or hates uh, at minxlaw123 asmr on tiktok so add me follow me it's all good right i am now gonna try and put all of this away and then put it back all in the spare room so i can like store it in there um, I actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep some of the stuff that I'm going to try on in the video. So look out for that video. I'll put that on in the next few days. Uh, I'm definitely going to be trying on these trousers because that's going to be fun. Um, and there's a good few like dresses and maybe a couple of tops or whatever that I'll try on. So look out for that. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Lots of love to you all. Peace and uh, take care. Bye bye. <laughs>